Hi guys, Dane here, and today it's a very special day because it's Small Booktuber Sunday. So this was created by Harriet Rosie, and I will try and link below to where you can find some more information on this. And the idea here is to celebrate some smaller booktubers. So today I'm going to be recommending five booktubers that I like and telling you why I like them. And then I'm going to be including a list of various other uh, booktubers at the end as well. The first thing to mention here is this is created in response to uh, YouTube's new partner the platform rules and monetization and all that kind of stuff and how basically it's kind of dicked over people with smaller YouTube channels like myself I guess although I don't monetize my videos but it would be nice to have that option and again a lot of people are also unsure about what this means for things like thumbnails and uh, you know end slates and all that kind of stuff so it's early days at the moment, especially while I'm filming this, but I did want to get this video done and edited in time to post it to share some of the smaller booktube channels that I love. So, one other thing I will say before I get started as well is there's going to be a Twitter chat, so that's with the hashtag SmallBooktuberSunday, and that's at 6pm GMT for you British folks like myself, 1pm EST and 10am PST, so do try and take part in that if you can because it'll be a great way to you know network with other booktubers and find some new channels to watch as well speaking of new channels to watch let's go for five of my recommendations so number one I'm going to start with Michael from Catalyst Reads, and that's because Michael's video is very interesting. He does quite a lot of a focus on the more community aspect of BookTube, so he has a lot of discussions and that sort of thing. He makes quite a few original tags as well. But Michael, to me, is like this sort of all-seeing, all-known BookTube deity who just kind of keeps his eye on everything that's happening. And then, like, I watch his videos to understand more about what other people are doing and what's going on in the wider booktube community. I think Michael's very much a little hub and you know you do see as you go around booktube you see little channels where they have their own communities around this channel and I think Michael definitely has that and you know at the time of time of filming I think all of these channels I'm about to mention have less than a thousand subscribers so I would definitely recommend checking them out. Number two I wanted to shout out Cody from Cody's Book Corner. Now the reason I really like Cody's channel is, well, A, she's northern. She's got a northern accent, which is great. Uh, I'm from the Midlands here in the UK, nearish to Birmingham, from a little place called Tamworth. Uh, the other thing I really like about Cody, as well as the fact that she's a British booktuber, is that she reads more than I do, and very few people do that. I think her book reading goal this year is 250, and I thought mine was high at 200. And uh, she also reads really good books as well, so she's reading a lot of books, but she's reading a lot of good books, which makes her very much worth subscribing to, in my opinion. In at number three, we have Todd the Librarian. Now I've never actually really clarified this in a video before but I mean I've been watching booktube for years and I've mentioned that but until recently I wasn't really making booktube videos of my own and it's actually Todd the Librarian I credit with giving me the push that I needed to start creating my own videos but um, he'll literally put the camera on, film, talk to the camera and it's very insightful and very relaxed as well you know it's you literally are basically having a beer with him you'll know what I mean if you've seen his channel and Todd is the king of tags but he also reads a great selection of like classic sci-fi and stuff like that as well so uh, definitely worth checking out okay up next we have peachy fishy books and this is a channel with two people so it's brie and i want to say is it moms Peachy Fishy books are great because there's the two of them and actually I really like the videos where the two of them are together because they kind of play off each other as well and um, it's nice they get a nice variety of different books in there um, they have way fewer like viewers and subscribers than I think they should do I think they should be one of those sort of bigger sort of 8 to 10 thousand ch subscriber channels by now so anyway it's a good channel just go and watch Peachy Fishy books and at number 5 we've got Book Axe uh, so Scott and Lucy from Book Axe they actually have bookaxe.com which is uh, their kind a, their own website I guess and the, the best way I would describe it is is very much it's tinder for books basically it gives you recommendations and you can axe the book or you can add it to your shelf and as you have more books to your shelves you can prioritize them so you'll have shelf one is your favorite books and then shelf two is your next favorite and that kind of stuff it's a really cool website actually I would check that out as well but also check out their channel between the two of them they have a wide variety of kind of literature they read Scott reads a lot of non-fiction and um, their goal is to kind of cut through the media hype behind books and I think they do that very effectively. Check out Scott and Lucy. So those are five channels I specifically want to recommend, however I do watch a lot of booktube channels and you may have noticed in my tag videos I've got these little like sliders that introduce 
whoever I'm tagging or whatever. And I think I've got like 32 of those now, and they're mainly booktubers. A few of them are actually uh, poets as well. But I'm just going to literally play all of these sliders now. And it's going to sound super weird as well because it's got my voice kind of saying Pod the Librarian or whoever is on the slider. But it's obviously my voice from like about 11 different videos and it's varying volumes and stuff and to be honest I should probably fix that but you know small booktuber Sunday yay between lines and life Missy from binge reader and book axe books are my heart brunette bibliophile catalyst reads and Chrissy books and berries David Persaud he will say his books and uh, bring the pugs as well, please. Aoife from Fred Weasley Died Laughing. Graham Quigley as well. And Hannah Tay. Harriet Rosie. Kevin, who is also known as Irish Reader. And James Chatham as well. And Catadactyl. Kit Kats Can Read. And Madman Reads and Rocks. And Mindy's Book Journey. And Peachy Fishy Books. Pucks and paperbacks, randomly bookish Gina, read or rot, and time for books. Todd the Librarian, Vino Vanitas, and Wesley Nash. What Cass read? All right, check out all of these channels. I'm not gonna link to all of these below because it will take me forever to find all of the links, but I will list them all so at least you've got that as a reference point. So anyway, that's about it for me for Small Booktuber Sunday. Like I said, be sure to join the live chat at uh, 6 p.m. GMT. I will include some information and all this blah, blah, blahs. I'm gonna try and take part in the live chat. I'm also gonna be looking for some uh, smaller booktubers to subscribe to as well. If you've made one of these videos, please let me know so I can check it out. And if you'd like to leave a comment on this video, give me the name of a small booktuber that I should subscribe to and I will go and check out their channel. In the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button as well. Hit the like and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye.